Okay, so today's hairstyle is based on Trudy Cock and Locker from The Miracle of Morgan's Creek, um, played by Betty Hutton. And the reason that I did this style is because it's a little different than anything I've done recently. I've done it way, way, way in the past when you could barely see it. So I thought it would be a really good time to try it. Also, I thought it was a good way to showcase how you can use, um, how you can create this like high volume poodle without having to tease and also without false hair. I had originally decided to do this with false hair um, and I had gotten my ponytail extension from Irresistible Me and curled it on really small rollers and when I woke up this morning and looked at it they still the curls were still like they just look like waves. I think it's because I put too much hair on each roller so that's entirely my fault and so I didn't get to showcase the false hair like I was going to. Um, so what I did instead is used filler, and so you'll be able to see that in the video. This is a high volume 1940 style poodle. Um, she wore it with braids, um, basically when she was at home and kind of hanging around. My hair is still relatively thin, so the braids are still relatively thin, but it gives you a good idea. And I really like these little curled ends on the braids. The braids are super fun. Now, the whole point of this series was to make this more wearable and to for you to give you something that would be a challenge throughout the week. I still want you to challenge this throughout the week, but you can do it without the filler and it will be a lot more subdued and you'll have like your work poodle that you can work with. Um, if you're somebody who doesn't like the fluff curls on top, which are, you know, obviously very, very much indicative of a specific time in the past. They're not something that anybody does now. Um, so if that makes you feel a little awkward, you can always replace this with just like a barrel curl or something like that and do the braids just to see how you feel about it. Um, or you could just do the fluff curls with a barrel curl. So you've got options. This is just a way for you to, I still would recommend that when you're working on this style that you play with the poodle part of it first. Like you actually do the poodle get it perfected, get it looking like you want it to look, and then you can smooth it into something else if you don't want to wear that for the day. Um, but yeah, this the whole point of the series, of course, was so that we could showcase or try different styles um, and really perfect them over the course of the week. I still want you to do that. Um, I'm going to put a um, you will need list, like products needed, items needed, at the beginning of each video now. So before the how-to section of the video, you will see a products needed um, or a list of things that you'll need for this style. I do think that's helpful. I was going to eventually originally put it in the info box, but I think it'll be better to have it like in a title card at the beginning of each tutorial. So that's this one. I probably won't wear it today. I've never been a brutal person. I wear it out to events like vintage events where a lot of girls are going to be wearing it, but whenever I go out like this, I feel like I get so much attention, like where people want constantly stop me and I ain't got time for that. So I'll, go, I'll subdue it a bit. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this. Um, I love Trudy Cock and Locker. She's one of my favorite all time characters in film. Um, so even though this is a Trudy style, it actually is a Betty Hutton style. She wore this all the time and she had a freaking ton of hair. So that's all. Have a good day. I get you thrilled. I get you jitters, baby. You got me shaking all over. I like a big bowl of gravy. You got me knocking at the knees. Okay, so after rolling your hair straight down the middle on the top and down the sides, what you're going to do is start to unroll the rollers. I have used perm rods here. Perm rods can snag, so make sure that you're unrolling your hair as carefully as possible. It's easiest if you just unclip them. Make sure that the clips are not attached to any hair. Um, they're like little sprongy clips that go into the ends of each one with a rubber band. And then slowly start to just unwind the roller. So that's what we're doing right now is just carefully unwinding the rollers. The ones that I used on top are large sized. And the ones that I used um, on the sides, <laughs> messy brush, the ones that I used on the sides are um, 
medium sized. The white ones are medium and the purple ones are large. And I did use two regular foam rollers on the front on my shortest hair and my bangs because they do hold a little easier. The perm rods do not hold as well. So I have, I'm now brushing my hair out and of course it's going to be frizzy. You're gonna have to brush carefully and make sure you brush thoroughly. And you will see what you're seeing here is probably the course of about eight or nine minutes brushing. Um, you're just gonna be a little bit editing here. And I spray my brush with hairspray every so often just to sort of bring it and tame it down. If your hair is not super um, thin and fine like mine, you can use a pomade on your brush or on your hair or on your hands in order to tame the hair as you brush. But you will see the more that I brush, the more, more uh, firm and soft and shiny that the curlers get curls get you can pull as hard as you want and those curls are not going anywhere they're just gonna stay shiny and smooth and wavy so what I'm trying to do is harness these curls into sort of a page boy um, it's not really going to look like a page boy because my hair being so long it's not going to um, take to that shape as well as it should um, so instead it's going to look a little more like a fluff around the bottom and that's totally fine. That is actually in uh, on par with how she wore her hair part of the film. And we are continuing through just brushing and smoothing and now we're going to take down the top. And you do the exact same thing on the top as you did underneath. You make sure that those thin little connectors are not attached to any hair. That one was. And then you are going to unwind. And you'll see that the curls took very small. And this poodle is not going to be a super soft, large curls, big, you know, you see a lot of beautiful poodles here on YouTube that are very large curls. Um, those are a little bit more wearable, but I like this more tight curled poodle as well, which is actually, was actually more common in the 40s um, than the large curls. The large curls were typically very structured, and this is, this is what we consider more of a fluff curl. So I'm teasing only the base of these top two sections of hair. And then I'm using part of a bun form. This is just a bun form that I cut and stitched on the sides and I am sticking it underneath those top two sections to give them tons of height. And I'm pinning them in with bobby pins and then I'm gonna pull the hair over the top so you can't see the foam or the form. At least you won't be able to once we get these curls arranged. Then you're gonna kind of brush through the ends of the curls until they decide how they kind of want to shape and I'll start shaping the curls around the bun form and just pinning them in place. And you can arrange this however you want to. This is something that is completely subjective. It is all about creating as you go and there is not going to be any two poodles that come out exactly the same. So I'm taking the curls and kind of forming them around the bun form, but you want them to look sort of soft and um, you not, not super uniform. This is supposed to look a little bit more casual so we have a lot of height and a lot of fluff and I've kind of pulled the curls down a little bit over my forehead so that they are a little um, straighter across so similar to how she has it in the film um, and now we're gonna pull up the sides now you can do something a little fancier and pull these sides up into a victory roll I'm actually just pulling the sides up to meet the crown and I put them in place with a grip tooth comb. You can also use bobby pins. Grip tooth combs are just my choice. And then you'll brush through the ends of the pieces that are hanging down behind those combs and you will bring those pieces forward into any pattern or shape that you want. The main thing is that you want them to look uniform with the poodle at the top. And that's just gonna give you a little more volume at the sides of the poodle. And that's one of the things that makes it super um, successful as far as a more casual, um, you know, kind of flow, go with the flow style. It's not going to be something that is gonna be, like I said, the same every time. Now I'm gonna take the sides and pull them back down into that fluff curl at the bottom, just to make sure that we smooth through. I'm gonna use some hairspray to smooth the sides. And now we have what her kind of evening look was, which was um, a little shorter than mine, of course. Um, had a little bit more volume at the bottom but it should look similar to this. Here's the back, nice and shiny, but again, kind of weighed down and a little flat because my hair's so long. Okay, and now I am parting my hair in the middle and we're gonna do those cock and locker braids. And basically all you're doing is parting your hair evenly in the back, making sure that the back is pretty even. And then you're gonna take the, the um, sides and braid it not too tightly. You don't want the braids to be super, super tight because they'll look really skinny. 
but you're gonna braid it down until there's about three inches of hair left and then use a small clear elastic to secure and the reason we aren't braiding any farther than that I'll show you is because we're gonna kind of widen those braids a little bit so you can see here in the back I tried to kind of keep the part as center cut as possible and now I'm gonna go through and do that on the other side I am purely just going as messy as I can here. I mean, it's not a super structured braid. It's just a very standard three strand braid. And it is, like I said, not gonna go all the way down the strand because you wanna leave some, some uh, room at the bottom to kind of widen the braids. See how skinny the braids are right now? So that is because I don't have a lot of hair. You can actually put some extensions in if you wanna have more volume there, like Betty Hutton did. She always had tons of hair. Um, but yeah, you're gonna pull the braid apart and it's gonna it's gonna give it a little bit more volume And then you'll brush through the ends and have nice little locks there and that is as we say it 